Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is finally Friday. My goodness, in less than 48 hours, I'll be back in California. And I can't wait to see my Dallas Cowboys that have gotten another practice padded practice out the way i believe that's three padded practices that can have a maximum i think of 14 so we'll see what we're gonna see knock on wood um the only thing we have of note as far as injury wise is micah parsons has a sore elbow so he's doing individual drills today um one thing point of note before i get into mike zimmer talking about uh, mozzie smith make sure you guys tune in tonight nine o'clock eastern for our live stream because you know we're gonna be talking about everything Thing that's going on with the Cowboys. We got two new defensive ends added to the mix. The NFL has settled, or excuse me, the case has been tossed out for direct TV, and we'll see if that has any ramifications and so on in teams beginning to do some more signings. Um, earlier today, I was thinking about John Ridgeway, who might be a guy who may be on the bubble for the Washington Commanders and a guy that I would love for the Cowboys to try and bring back. And somewhere here, I have a John Ridgeway jersey that I want to get out. I was actually going to wear it for it. And I was going through the racks because I have a lot of stuff and I've been in a lot of different autograph signings. And I came across, look at this. Randy White, Hall of Fame. Randy White autographed T-shirt. So this is another one that we're going to be giving away. I've got so much stuff here and so many autograph pieces and things. I just don't know what I have anymore. So um, if you end up becoming a channel member... Or if you end up doing a super chat between now and Sunday, we'll definitely be giving that away. We gave away a Charles Haley autograph plaque um, last night to uh, Arthur Macon was our winner yesterday. And I'm getting that packed up and getting it to mail before I leave for California. So um, we have Mike Zimmer. Now, Mike Zimmer, A, I think he needs to get some sunscreen. I think Mike Zimmer has got a little bit too much sun going on right now, and I'm worried about him, you know, skin cancer or anything else. You know, old guys got to look out for each other. But he's getting a little bit testy right now about the conversation about Mozzie Smith. I was looking at things with Mozzie Smith and thinking, for me, understanding the position because I played a one-technique guy. Interior defensive lineman, you can't – look at like you would an edge rusher or a linebacker numbers and things wise because you have to understand the position and let me play Mike Zimmer and I'll get into what I actually see that I'm actually loving I'm loving it uh Zimmer take it away uh Mozzie what have you seen so much talk about Mozzie. I'm so glad you asked because if no one asked about that I was going to mention it today okay so there you go so much talk so much talk about Mozzie yeah. and what he means can you talk about what you see from him and the yeah. expectations well I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you um I, I believe regardless of what I hear on the outside uh what we're asking him to do he's do, he's doing a really good job you know you may not see him make flash plays but we see him taking on double teams getting his hands in the right place I see him uh um you know understanding where he's supposed to be you know he's not going to be a uh, a speed rusher by any stretch you know he's going to have to be a power power rusher and push the pocket but as far as the run game what i've seen so far i've been i've been impressed with him he's he's doing a really good job um you know now he's got to keep it up but um i've i've been uh i've been en i've enjoyed what i've seen with him along with the rest of the defensive line okay what I think, if we read between the lines, I think this is what he's trying to say. Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more fuck ups to shut. I think that's actually what he's saying. Now, here's what I want to do here today is okay i want you to understand something like i was saying about defensive linemen interior defensive linemen you got one job and that is to hold the line that is not to give up any ground and tie up the offensive lineman i learned this the hard way because i literally got cussed out by my coach because as he said i was showboating because instead of tying up the offensive lineman i shot the gap and ended up taking the running back down eight yards behind the field 
And the coach cussed my ass out and said, what the hell are you doing? I said, man, I'm making play. I'm, that's not your job, son. That's not your job. He said, when you got upfield and took that play, what did you do to your linebackers? I said, coach, I made the play. It doesn't matter. It's not what you're here for. The linebackers, they get the glory. Your job is to occupy space and to hold the freaking line. Okay? Now, here's what Mike Zimmer said. He's not going to be a speed rusher, okay? As in Micah Parsons. He's going to be a guy who is going to be a power rusher. He's going to bull rush. He's going to grab a hold of you and drive you up the field. And there's nothing wrong with that because as an interior defensive lineman, if you can hold the line and penetrate a yard or two yards on a pass play, that's all I need because then the quarterback can't step up. If the quarterback can't step up, then that means the defensive ends who are crashing in are going to feast. They're going to get the numbers. And if Mozzie can do that, Micah Parsons will get 20 sacks. Micah Parsons will get 20 sacks. So I've got some clips from practice today. You know, we didn't hear talking about practice. Not, oh, shit, that's Law Nation. Okay, hold up. Yo. Yo. Man, what's good? Where you at? I, I, I don't come in until Sunday, man. Oh, I think you come in this weekend. No, man. Well, it is Sunday. I'll be there. I'll be in Oxnard Sunday afternoon. I'll be there at the first practice because we'll be talking about practice. Not a game. Not a game. Not a game. We'll be talking about practice um, on Monday. But I'll be there the whole week for all the practices in the preseason game. Okay, okay, okay. How's it looking out there, man? Hey, man, it raised the blade thing. Shoulder to shoulder when you get there. Yeah. But people that that Green Bay Packer game still hurts, man. Still bleeding. You know, you're right about that. Um, let me ask, so is anybody using the platform? Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, anybody up in the platform, the tented area, the club? Oh, you know, my G-Bot put it $300 a day. Yeah. Oh, it's 300 now. Damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. All the, people, all the people that pay for that for today, they didn't even practice on their side. See, that's messed up. <laughs> See, you don't know when you pay for it if they're going to practice over there or not. That's when you realize I've been fooled by Jerry Jones again. Hell no. Man. Oh, man. Then parking is crazy. Okay. Yeah, I was actually thinking about doing that, get my wife to drop me off and pick me uh, up and stuff. Uh, when I get there, um, let me ask you this: How's Mozzie looking? I've seen some clips. I thought he was doing pretty good. Brandy says, "You know, uh, Mozzie don't look too good." Can I get a chance to look at him? Look at him. Okay. I got one of the uh, content creators here. Well, so yeah, yeah, you don't look that good, bro. You know. Okay. But, you know, at least he moved some stuff right. He looked better than he did last year. Uh, I was actually sitting here. I was sitting here breaking down a couple of clips on him. He seems like he's got he's gotten better at least at locking up with guys and being able to hold ground. Because see, that's the thing is people are expecting him to be like you know Micah Parsons and things like that, but that's not his job. His job is to hold the line and just make sure that the linebackers are clean and to keep to keep those holes from opening up for the running backs. Hell yeah. Okay. Even though it's a different scheme. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'll give you that. All right. Well, I will see you. Um, I'll be there Sunday. No doubt, man. You have a good one, bro. All right. Appreciate Peace you. out. Oh, shit. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen. He was like, where are you at, bro? Where are you at? I, I'm not there yet. Okay. I, I, I. I can't afford to be there for two weeks. But you heard him say that it used to be shoulder to shoulder. Ain't nobody out out there. And then if you get in the platform, people who paid $300 to be in the platform, the raise platform to watch practice, they didn't even practice in that field. Now, that's a damn shame. They should get a refund or get a second pass to make up for it. But anyway, here's what I'm going to say, okay? Some of the content creators say he's not doing good. But see... I want to know who that content creator was, and did he play in the trenches? Did he play in the trenches? Because I did. Because here's what I see, okay? 
I'm going to put this clip on up here. Let, let's get this, okay? This first thing that we have right here, what you're going to see is you're going to see him going against um, Tyler Smith, all pro, okay? Now, what I want you to understand is I'm, I'm going to go ahead because this has got a couple of things on here. But what I want you to understand is He's now got to engage. Okay, this is different than what he had to do as a one technique. Now you're a yard off the ball. What I'm going to say that he did that was good here is that he's low and he is keeping his feet moving. You see he's moving. He's engaging. Now, you're talking about him going against an all pro. But you see him driving. You see him pushing. You see him bending. And you see him continually to work. Now, if this is a pass play and I get this with him and Osa and Digazua in the middle and I've got Micah Parsons and Needlin crashing on the outside, we're good. We're good. Look at that. Boom. We're good. Okay. Now, here's what I want to show you here. Now, this, you're going to see him. He's right in the middle of the field, number 58. Okay, now it's a little blurry because I blew this on up and I've, I've actually got this in three clips. But what he's going to do is he's going to engage with the offensive lineman. Pay attention to where his feet are. He is sliding down the line with the offensive lineman because what the offensive lineman is going to try and do is he's going to try to hook him and keep him from going to it. If you don't, if you, you engage using your strength, okay, now, now let, me, let me explain to you. Because what you're trying to do is you are engaging and you're getting a hold of the guy because the guy is going to try and move you one way or the other. This is where your strength comes in because what you're doing is, is you're locking out. You are locking out and not allowing him to hook you. And the direction that he is trying to hook you from is going to take you to the football. Now let's go back to it. So you see him engaged. He's not letting the offensive lineman get his head across the body, okay? And you see him. He is going right down the line, right down the line, and he is right now in the middle of the hole. Now, right there, boom. That is, you don't get any more textbook than that because that right there, friends, if you're allowed to tackle, he's going down. That's a no-gainer. That is perfect. Now, let's look at it again, zoomed up a little bit and slowed down. Now, watch. He engages, gets his hands on his body, and he goes down the line. Doesn't give up any ground and fights all the way there to the ball carrier. Let's watch it one more time, even closer. I wish it was clear, but unfortunately, when you zoom this up, because this is from across the field, look. You see him engaged right there? He's got his hands there. He's down low. His shoulders are, are square to the field, and he is moving that ass. Look at that. He's moving that ass, and he's moving those feet. Quick feet, short steps. He's not long. In, uh, he's not taking long, big steps. He's keeping the feet chopping there, and he is sliding, keeping those shoulders parallel where he's got both hands and both arms in there using strength and power. Now, I'm going to say I don't know. I don't know what every play looks like. I don't. But here's what I can tell you is that if I get that every play, oh, guys, we're golden. Guys, we are golden. He's not sloppy fat right now. He's big, and he's actually able to move, and you can see the strength and the power from him. Now, again, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll who used to play that position. But if I can get that, he knows what he's doing right now, which is far and away better than what he was last year. So I'm going to go look for myself, and I'm going to give you the insight on what I see. And, and here's the thing that's kind of funny is, again, when you think of an interior defensive lineman, if you get 40 tackles in a season and five sacks, bro, that's a Pro Bowl level. You're not seeing big numbers. You are literally doing the dirty work so everybody else gets the glory. It sucks.
being a one technique guy or a three technique it is hard you're going to get hit you're going to have every part of your body sore you're going to have parts of your body sore that you didn't even know that you had because you're getting hit from every which direction you're banging your head every single play but that my friends that looks good and i love exactly what mike zimmer said and again he's basic here's what i'm going to say about everybody who's talking about Mozzie. Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more fuck ups to shut. That's exactly what I say. So we'll see. Don't always go by what, everybody, what you hear. Don't go by what you hear because not everybody knows what the hell they're talking about. They just talk. You can say the same about me. But we'll find out who's right in the end. Shout out to Law Nation. I can't wait to see my brother from another mother this weekend. Peace out.